What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Nike LeBron 19 in this uniform hook or Toon Squad colorway. Today's video is sponsored by the good people from Hefalux. Hefalux is my all time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles, which essentially is the same material you'll find with Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below. You'll see they sell four different insole options, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of winter boots or for sneakers, you're going to find there's a suitable insole for everybody. So I've been a paying customer of Heflux for years now, and I honestly stand by their products, they truly are very comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout to get 15% off your entire purchase. So these LeBron 19s were released earlier in December for a price of 200 US dollars or 260 here in Canada. The colorway for this shoe is Mantra Orange and Light Blue Fury, and I'm not sure why the shoe is nicknamed Uniform Hook. If anyone knows, let me know in the comment section down below. But to me, this is more commonly known as the Toon Squad colorway because it's the pair that LeBron James wore when he faced off against the Goon Squad in Space Jam A New Legacy. And that's why the colors of the shoe adopt the same colors as the Toon Squad uniform. So first off, here's a quick look at the box. This comes in this custom box for the LeBron 19. Printed all over the box, it has it all over a print. And then my favorite part about this box is this window on the top, which is done in the shape of the LeBron James logo, and it allows you to see the paper or the shoes inside. On one end, we have the Nike Air logo, and then on the other side, we have the LeBron 19 branding, and it's finished off with LeBron signature on the front. Inside the box, it comes with this custom paper as well. So this is done in this very bold yellow and red colored combination and has this all over print once again, but this time it's circus themed. And then alongside the special paper, inside the box, there's also this special ticket as well. But the thing I really love most about this ticket is on the back side, you can see all these concept sketches of the LeBron 19, along with the tech specs underneath this. So diving into the details of this shoe, the upper is constructed out of this nylon, which is a bit translucent in nature and has a bit of a rough and crunchy feel to it. Surrounding the middle portion of the shoe, we have this deep orange colored TPU. So this TPU outlines the entire edge of the upper, and then you'll see the incorporated Nike Flywire, which extends from the base of the shoe up to the top, connecting to where the eyelets are, and this helps give you added lockdown and side-to-side -side containment. Hugging the midfoot of the shoe, we have this very large orange-red colored TPU overlay, which runs up pretty high, hugging the sides of your foot. On the lateral side, we have LeBron James signature, along with this crown-shaped cutout. And then on the medial side, the cutout here is shaped like a Nike swoosh. Moving on to the back of the shoe, so surrounding the sides and the back, we have these air pockets, which is tinted in this blue-colored finish. So these pockets of air are semi-translucent, but we have a swoosh printed on in this light blue finish on the lateral side. And on the back heel, we have these three smaller bubbles, and we have this graphic of a planet in the middle. Running up the center of the back heel, we have this orange colored nylon pull tab. And you can see that there's a portion of the heel which runs up and protrudes out of the shoe, and this helps cradle and give you added containment for the back end of your foot. For the laces, these only come with one pair of laces, and they're a flat style lace done in this orangey red color. Underneath this, we have a nylon tongue, and at the base of the tongue, we have the LeBron James logo done in a combination of red and blue. Near the top, we have another one of these air bubbles, again done in this blue colored tint. And on the right shoe, we have the number six, which is the number LeBron wore in Space Jam and is done in that same Toon Squad style font. And on the left shoe, we have the bronze lion logo. And overlaid at the very top of the tongue, we have what feels like an overlay of Nubuck and written across it, we have the phrase, strive for greatness. So the tongue is connected to the rest of the shoe, creating this one piece booty like fit that really cradles and locks down your foot. And then when you look at the interior of the shoe, you'll see that this inner collar area is actually very well padded as well. Moving on to the insoles, so these come with a very well padded foam lined insole. We have Space Jam graphics printed on top, and then printed on the heel it says, lift for Nike Air Access. So if you lift up the insole, you'll see there's this oval shaped cutout, which reveals the actual Nike Max Air bag that's found within the midsole. So the upper of the LeBron 19 sits atop this Kushlon foam carrier, which is painted in this very bold blue colored finish. On the front toe cap, the foam is cut out in this crown-like shape, and written on the outsole we have Witness on the left foot and 19 on the right foot. So underneath this Kushlon foam, we have a large Zoom Air unit underneath the forefoot for cushioning, and on the back heel we have a Max Air unit, which is constructed in this U-shaped finish, and we have this large oval-shaped crash pad in the center. And the cool thing is when you look at the bottom of the shoe, you can see these chambers which connect the air units from both the left side and the right side. And it actually mentions the PSI of the air units, which it says here is 20 PSI. 
So turning the shoe over to the bottom, so the outsole here is constructed out of this semi-translucent red colored rubber. We have these flex screws on the forefoot, along with the LeBron logo on the heel in this blue colored finish. And the traction pattern itself when you turn the shoe over to the side, is a repeating pattern of LeBron James crown logo. So that breaks down the look and the construction of the LeBron 19. And for those wondering how these fit, so this is a little bit of a snug fitting shoe. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I tried these on in both a 10 and a 10 and a half. And I'd say that the 10 was a little bit snug straight out of the box, but they definitely loosened up and broke in even after a few minutes. And with the 10 and a half, it felt great out of the box, but there was a little bit extra room from a length perspective. So I'd recommend if you have narrow, normal, or slightly wide feet, and you don't mind more of a snug fit, definitely stick true to size. But if you have really wide feet, you probably want to go up a half size. But keep in mind my experience trying these on was strictly for casual use. So if you have a preference in terms of how you like your shoes to fit to play ball in, you definitely should take that into consideration before you pick these up. Next up, in terms of the overall comfort, so this shoe was very comfortable. Again, strictly for casual use, despite the fact that it is a very heavy shoe, to be honest, most LeBron shoes are, but this one felt like a tank on foot, and it really had like a boot-like feel. However, the forefoot cushioning with Zoom Air, it was definitely extremely responsive, and it had this really nice bouncy feel to it, even if I was just walking around in the store with them. And similarly on the back heel, this super massive maxier unit, even when I'm leaning my entire weight onto the heels of the shoe, you can really feel that it's very well protected. So like most LeBron sneakers, it definitely sacrifices ground feel for cushioning. So if that's something you don't mind and something you prefer, then you'll definitely love these. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship, so the majority of the materials on this shoe are synthetic. And to be honest, I feel like all of them are synthetic. That's kind of how modern basketball sneakers are these days. You rarely find too much genuine leather or suede on basketball shoes anymore. And this pair is pretty much the same. We have a ton of nylons, a ton of meshes on this pair. So to be honest, it has a bit of a cheap feel to it, but it is what it is. And it's something I've come to expect with modern day basketball sneakers. However, from the overall build perspective, I had some flaws on my shoe. I felt like the paint job on the midsole was a little bit sloppy. I had some boot paint visible on the outsole and in the areas where the mesh upper connected to the midsole, there was some visible glue too. So I would definitely not say that it was a very well-crafted shoe, but it was overall, I guess you can say average. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace up these uniform hook LeBron 19s and I'll show you guys how these look on feet. To me, I'm kind of torn on this colorway. On one side, I kind of think it's very loud and it kind of has like a clown-like feel to it. However, on the other side, I love how much this ties in with the Toon Squad jersey and the fact that LeBron actually wore these in the movie. It definitely helps to sell itself. With that said though, not too many people wear LeBron's casually these days anymore, especially his more recent silhouettes. So this is definitely not gonna be the most well-loved pair on the streets. However, you do you if you guys love this colorway and you love the LeBron 19s. I don't think this pair is fetching anything beyond retail on the secondary market, which is a good thing for any Space Jam or LeBron fans out there. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Nike LeBron 19 in this uniform hook or Toon Squad colorway. For me, this is much more of a display piece. I don't actually know if I'll ever wear these outside, and I think I'll go perfectly hand in hand with my Toon Squad jersey. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seangoca So until next time, thank you guys so much for watching, thank you for the continued love and support, and I'll catch you guys all in my next video.